Five panellists, five topical issues, no holds barred. For me, it's not knowledge that's lacking. It's that greed, it's that mentality where you feel you deserve to take your own and take it infinitely and let everybody else just manage however they will manage. We're almost becoming hardwired to try and cheat. I would, you know, suggest that we begin to hold our leaders accountable. There was a time in this country when yes. things actually work. I don't think that any organization should be above the law. And I think one of the challenges we have in this country is about governance across the board. Well, well, what I'm saying is that it doesn't really affect us in Nigeria. I don't know what we can do if the system is already corrupted. We've been warned as a continent of the influx of the Chinese. If you don't repay your debt, they will just colonize you. Welcome to The Advocates on Plus TV Africa. Without doubts, the celebration of Christmas is in the air and the new year draws closer. Of course, we're keeping things seasoned and spicy on this episode. I mean, take a look at the three of us looking really Christmassy. Well, I'll be kicking things off as directly as I can. And I'm saying, make the adoption of a child in Nigeria much easier for the people. Chuka is asking, where is our president? We'll find out in his advocacy. Evans stirs up a conversation on superstitious beliefs and civilization. According to him, beliefs are very African. Now I can't wait to hear Evans. And lastly, Bolahon advocates that in the season of Christmas, let us all give out of love and not as a show off. I agree with you on that one, Bolahon. Unexpected, you say? The advocate gives nothing but unpredictable. See you after the break. Five panelists, five topical issues, no holds barred. For me, it's not knowledge that's lacking. It's that greed, it's that mentality where you feel you deserve to take your own and take it infinitely and let everybody else just manage however they will manage. We're almost becoming hardwired to try and cheat. I would, you know, suggest that we begin to hold our leaders accountable. There was a time in this country when yes. things actually work. I don't think that any organization should be above the law. And I think one of the challenges we have in this country is about governance across the board. Well, well, what I'm saying is that it doesn't really affect us in Nigeria. I don't know what we can do if the system is already corrupted. We've been warned as a continent of the influx of the Chinese. If you don't repay your debt, they will just colonize you. And so the world is gathering this season to celebrate the birth of a man who lived for just 33 years and changed humanity forever. And I speak on adoption blues. The story of surrogacy started in the Bible. Mary was the surrogate mother. And my friend Kenny Adenuba said to me the other day, In other words, there is nothing new under the sun. But I'm not talking about surrogacy today. I'm rather visiting the option of adoption for couples unable to have their own children and mature singles who want to raise children of their own. The process of adoption in Nigeria is supposed to be simple. In Lagos State, you start with submitting an application letter, attending pre-counseling session, invitation for interview, filling of form, and so on and so forth. And then you make a choice of child in, a, in an orphanage for a foreigner, it starts with choosing an adoption service provider. Now that's something we should be thinking about. Then you apply to be found eligible to adopt, be matched with a child, and then you gain custody of the child in Nigeria. And then you apply for the child to be found eligible for orphan status. Then you bring your child home. But these are on paper. It is increasingly difficult to adopt a child in Nigeria. The queue in Lagos states alone is so long and one practically will need to turn into an all-season Santa Claus to many orphanages coming for babies to adopt. In many states in Nigeria, the story is the same. As in everything Nigerian, you need to know someone influential who can fast-track your request. <laughs> the challenge of finding babies through man and the legal process, so discouraging as well. Oh, well, the legal system favors the political class alone in Nigeria anyway. 
The dimension of the highest bidder is what you find in the South-South. A boy is 800,000 naira, a girl is worth 600,000 naira. No, let's save the argument about the influence of patriarchy in determining the fees for another day. If you're a right-thinking person, you wonder whose baby is being sold to you. And why pay so much? Something is just not right. You may find yourself thinking about higher purchase from a baby factory and when the bubble will burst if you went ahead with the purchase. Ah. When people can't get something done legally, they resort to illegal means. And much as we talk about politics every time, our lives are happier with other essential things like a beautiful soulmate and children to love and nurture. Some of us may never have our own biological children, but should the system deny us the chance to adopt as well? My advocacy is that professionals in a civil service come up with better, quicker, less depressing ways to officially adopt a baby in Nigeria. Adopting one child won't change the world, but for that child, the world will change. So the long-suffering ones on the queue for three years and counting, don't give up just yet. Bob Nestor Mali sang, don't worry about a thing, everything gonna be all right. So then, cheer up. Merry Christmas to everyone waiting, waiting to have their own child through IVF, surrogacy, or adoption. Share Christmas with them. It will happen. So cheer up. Merry Christmas. Lovely, lovely. Um, I had always wondered why it is so difficult to adopt in Nigeria. And these babies are becoming adults in the orphanage where they are, and nobody is taking them on. It, it, it's, it's just amazing what kind of people we are that will put stumbling, stumbling blocks on virtually every pathway and make things that should be normal to be difficult to achieve. I, I, I don't understand what is going on in that space. And this is what is foiling the baby factories. Oh, yes. Yeah. When people cannot get these things done legally, they go be behind Back the door stage, and, yes. and, 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 and arrange we, it. We have asked this question repeatedly, even in, within the bar, OK? And some of the answers we've gotten, especially from the Lagos State government, is that when you're talking about adoption, it's a very sensitive matter and it requires a lot of carefulness. The Ministry of Youth and Social Development that masterminds the process, because that is where you start from. Mm. Some states call it other names, some call it Ministry of Women Affairs, some call it Ministry of... Most of them welfare. Yes, so uh, that's where you start the process from. But we've also had cases where people adopt children because the state was not fully involved in documentation. These children are used for ritual purposes and other means of sexually abuse or that kind of abuse. So the, the, the excuse the state gives now is that you, the state must be fully involved at all the steps. Like in Lagos State, you first of all submit an application. Right. After you submit the application, the commissioner of the Ministry of Youth and Social Development will have to see you. Then there will be an interview. After the interview, you see? You, before you identify the child, the name of the child based on your, your letter, the name of the orphanage, or if you're adopting from a neighbor. Which is why you go to different that. orphanages. Yes. Come and, and let me say this also. We should also know there are some people who, who found children by the roadside, by right. an uncompleted building and all that. In law, it's called finder's keeper. When you find a child somewhere, you cannot keep the child. You must also take the child to an orphanage, to, sorry, to the ministry to regularize. Okay, so because I know a lot of persons who have seen children that way and they just right. kept them as you know, it's illegal. So I think what we should do is to interrogate the states so that we can have the bottlenecks, okay, erased, so that now that we have, we are in an information age, you can now easily, okay, put data together and then have this thing done in such a way that you can deploy social workers to follow up on each child that is adopted by uh, the adoptee. Or the, uh, uh. Chuka, what do you think? <clears throat> yeah, I was actually surprised when you said there's a very long queue to adopt children. Uh, that, that surprises me because it's not like I see so many, maybe I'm, I'm, I'm totally ignorant of it, but I don't see so many adopted children around. 
So I'm like, who is the, who are these on this long queue? And when they get the children, how come I don't know that so many children are adopted? <laughs> you know what I mean? Instead, I just, or maybe I've just assumed some biological. But, but you know, Chika, children. hold on. But you know that in Nigeria, there's still a lot of stigmatization attached to Correct. people adopting. So people don't want you to know that they've just there, adopted. There, so they rather adopt <laughs> babies. I'm there's aware. a long queue. I'm aware. Then, yeah, that's really right. Oh, I see. So the, the queue will be mostly babies, right? Okay, okay. Yeah. And then why boys are more expensive than girls? <laughs> we'll have to find out for the South. Again, <laughs> that's, 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 that's the same reason that's just so why bad. some people will continue to bear children until right. they find a boy. Exactly. Uh, it's the same boy. reason. <laughs> exactly, my man a boy, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. But, so, but yes, I think I agree with Evans. We've got to shorten the process. Because I know that I actually got to the point of wanting to contact the governor of Lagos State over a friend of mine who wanted to adopt when the process was just getting, it just seemed unnecessarily long. It looked like nothing was happening or everything was being done to delay it, you know. And because then I knew who the, I knew the governor at the time of Lagos State, I thought, okay, maybe I will try to do that, you know, with him. At least I'm not going to beg him for money, you know, so... Hopefully. You said <laughs> pretty much what I said. You need somebody influential mm. Why in should government I need to, contact to fast track for you. Why to help to intervene in a child adoption? That is understand? where the problem is. Even the issue of the commissioner will need to interview you. How many people, people. will the commissioner interview? But can I can I shock you? There is a stage where you have to involve the commissioner of police of the state. Uh -huh. The last stage. And you know how busy the commissioner of police the last stage is? Is it that the commissioner will come or will deploy designate someone? Uh, you know, someone to come and... That's the last stage before... That. It we is need to really... And then the process. After, that, after that, you now have to go to the family court or the magistrate court to regularize it. You see, there is this long wait and then there is so, the legal part. Yes. And then by three years, you're still on the queue. You're tired and then you want to use another... Uh, option, mm. which is to go down south, and that's where you now have to buy, to like buy, which is yeah. like higher purchase, yeah. you know, and then you have to save up and all of that. Mm. And at the end of the day, you, you're palpitating that look, I don't even know whether that is even crude. You know, it, it, it's, it's not something that ordinarily we should contemplate at all. But the, to these buy. places exist. How do you buy human beings? These, these are children. These places exist, and just as you said, and that's why you find grown up boys and girls in orphanages. Because the process is so and long, not so they grow it. up there. Yeah. The, the, the earlier these kids can grow up in families, the better for them. You see, there, there, there is already the psychological problem of nobody wants me. Right. Yeah. So the earlier you plant that kind of a kid in a family, the better for yes. him or her. So that, that he doesn't support. become an adult and it's like, I was abandoned as a baby. And now I've grown up till this stage. Still nobody wants me. Yes. And it's, this, this, it's a problem. Such a child may want to take it on society it, because it's abuse, you know. Some form that. of psychological abuse. Yes. Right. Chuka is up next after the break.